Out of the darkness and into the light. In Zanzibar, one NGO is helping rural villages install solar power systems, training women as their engineers. The tools seemed difficult to use at first, but after a short time, I managed to handle them. The semi-autonomous archipelago off the coast of Tanzania counts some two million inhabitants, half of whom are not connected to the electric grid. For most, their only sources of illumination after sunset are oil lamps, whose limited light comes with acrid smoke and increased fire risk. Kerosene has many dangers. Houses can burn down, children might drink it. We have seen many such cases. Some kids come in with burns from kerosene fires. It's a big hazard. The East African coastal climate, though, has abundant sunshine, and rural Zanzibar has many women with deep connections to their local communities. After six months of training at the Solar Mama program, they're sent back to their villages with 50 household solar kits and the expertise to install and maintain them. The community is used to seeing women nursing kids, uh, you know, cleaning, you know, cooking, not going on the roof, put a panel, and then the whole house is electrified. So for us, actually, it's, it's not only empowering, but also it's building the sustainable communities. In addition to providing employment for women in conservative societies where gender roles are often restrictive, the program has also made it easier for children in rural areas to follow their studies after dark. So far in Zanzibar, the Solar Mamas have lit up nearly 2,000 homes.